You saw the title of the video and you're probably wondering to yourself, what is Lost Light? Lost Light is a brand new game that just hit Steam Early Access, but it was originally on mobile. And a lot of people around my community are talking about it. I've actually been hit up multiple times in the past, kind of leading up to this launch, people wondering if this is a game that I was going to talk about or cover. And I never really looked into it, but Lost Light is a mobile game that has been ported over to the Steam store and it's an extraction style shooter heavily inspired by the likes of Escape from Tarkov. If you really wanted to make a comparison here, it's like Escape from Tarkov had a baby with Ring of Elysium and PUBG Mobile and they all just kind of came together to create this. So the Steam description says you can join the Firefly Task Force and unveil the sinister plot behind the exclusion zone in the world of Lost Light. You could either scavenge for supplies or go out with guns blazing and plunder. Survive the brutal domain where danger lurks in every corner. And the basic setup is very similar to the likes of Escape from Tarkov. You have a shelter or a hideout in Tarkov that you can upgrade and build and access the black market, which would be like the flea market. You can access traders and do missions for all of these different traders. Very, very similar to Escape from Tarkov, but with a Chinese mobile twist. And that twist is you are basically being asked every 20 minutes or so to buy something. Every time you come back on a raid and you have a bunch of gear, you try to move it over to your storage and your storage is always full. And upgrading that storage is a really big pain in the ass on top of everything else that you need to upgrade. You need to keep collecting materials to craft and construct your shelter or you could just pay for 30 days of premium and you could get increased storage space. You could get decreased insurance. Uh, you could get decreased crafting costs. And there's just something really fucking annoying about that kind of gameplay. The game starts you off in about, I would say, an hour and a half to two hour hand-holding tutorial as if you were literally playing this game on an iPhone. And if you have played mobile games, you know what I'm talking about. The thing where it tells you to click this button and there's a big highlight, so you click it. Then it tells you over here, and then you click it. And then it goes over here, and, it cl and, and you click it. And then you go over here, and you click it. And then you click this, and then you go into a raid, and there's a green line that just shows you everywhere you need to go. It's so fucking handholdy and boring. I don't understand why there's so many people talking about this. And another thing is very strange to me. There's so many people talking about it. Like on my timeline, Lost Light is kind of blowing up. But then I look at the Steam charts. We're talking like less than Insurgency Sandstorm level player base here. Granted, you can play crossplay with mobile players. And I think that also leads to really boring engagements because when you're playing on a mouse and keyboard, you fucking destroy players. Oh, that was a player, I'm pretty sure. Oh, shit, nice. If you can find them. I have put about five hours into this game. I've played it on stream. I've played a little bit off stream, just trying to get into the game itself. And it is so painstakingly boring shooting poorly programmed AI who yell at you when you get close or when they're around corners. You might be approaching a corner and you'll just hear somebody around the, the wall or something that you didn't know was there. They just say, oh, I hear someone coming. And then now you know there's an AI there and they don't know how to move towards you in a proper fashion. They're programmed poorly. I find that every single feature I can look at in this game leaves something to be desired. The fact that they made an inventory very similar to Escape from Tarkov, but didn't make it as good as Escape from Tarkov, and the ability to rotate items, it does it automatically for you, but sometimes you just want a little bit more customization and control over your storage. You can hit auto sort, but it still isn't as good 
as escape from Tarkov. So every time I get out of a raid, I have to now just sell a bunch of shit. I'm playing Tarkov and I feel like the learning curve and the amount of time that you have to put into Tarkov to even get a good experience. And I think everybody who plays Tarkov understands you need to put the fucking time in. Whereas with this game, I have so much loot that it was super easy to reach over a million dollars within my first like two hours of playing. Now, I also understand the mobile aspect of everything. I know all of that money is going to trickle away soon and then they're going to bring up things that, you know, might get me to consider a premium or other microtransactions in the game. If you don't hook me right away in a mobile game like this, I'm, I'm not in. Let's, let's talk about the specific gameplay loop as you're dropping into a raid. First off, you're starting on two different maps. You have BAF Factory, which if that's not ripped straight from Escape from Tarkov, but watered down and really, really trash, like the layout is incredibly similar. To escape from Tarkov. And then you have Mount Akiyama, which I'm guessing is supposed to be the woods level for this game. And it's so bad. The maps are fucking garbage. When you're playing Escape from Tarkov, the audio scape and the movement and the, the creaking of, of boards and metal and people walking and gunfire, it's so immersive. With this game, it's built for fucking mobile, so it has none of those things, obviously. And the amount of props and actual clutter around these maps is pretty much non-existent. You go to the golf course on Mount Akiyama and it's literally just turned over golf carts. Like, zero fucking effort was put into any of these maps. And I know that we can't have the density and the clutter of an Escape from Tarkov because this game is meant for mobile. So at the end of the day, as a PC player, why the fuck do you even want to play this? I really feel like there is a hole in the market for a very accessible Escape from Tarkov style game. Nobody else has filled that ever. The Psycho Frontier has gone completely sci-fi with it, and they have their own problems with the rise of cheaters in that game. This game is still set in a grounded, kind of grittier, more universe with military, you know, armor and helmets and guns, and it's very realistic in that sense, but the gameplay has so much to be desired. I'm a huge fan of third-person shooters, and this is one of the worst third-person shooters that I've played in a long time. It's just so boring. I'm sitting here streaming, I'm talking to chat, I'm shooting AIs, and I'm moving through the map, like, I, d there is no stakes, there is no, oh, fuck, oh, shit, oh, oh, so somebody, got there's none of that, there's no moments of, oh, fuck, this is intense, I didn't see a single intense moment in the entirety of my playtime in this game, and I understand about half of my playtime was spent in a fucking tutorial, clicking menus, and, and dropping into raids, and having my hand held the entire time, and I don't even know if I'm actually out of that at this point, it's just, just so fucking straightforward and handholdy, it feels like baby's first Tarkov. And for me, there needs to be a middle ground. Tarkov turns off a lot of people because of its hardcore nature and the amount of time that you have to put in. This game, on the other hand, brings you right into it. Here's all the material. Keep clicking these things. Keep clicking these things. Keep... Uh, uh, and it's just not fucking enjoyable. It's too easy to jump in and not give a shit about where the AI are, where you're getting shot from. It, it's just not fun. In the five or six hours that I put into it, I only died once. There needs to be a middle ground, and I feel like when we're talking about the future of Call of Duty with things like the DMZ, I feel like the DMZ could be that middle ground experience where you don't need to put a ton of time in, but it can reward you for putting that time in, but it still has a little bit of a learning curve. It's still a little bit more hardcore. The better players will win type shit. And it's not a Chinese fucking mobile game. The only good thing in the redeeming quality of this game that I could actually bring to you guys is the fact that it has a really in-depth weapon customization system. It's not as in-depth as Tarkov, but it doesn't need to be. It has that depth that not a lot of games can hit, and I think that's a good thing. But it's just surrounded by so many convoluted systems that I just... I, I just can't imagine playing this for more than me making this fucking video on. Take a game like this that's built from the ground up 
not for mobile, not for microtransactions, and not for a Chinese market, and you have a fucking winner. I will say this, the game is completely free to play if you guys do want to try it. I will have a link for you guys down below. Now, I mentioned earlier that these guys are going to early access. The game is on early access right now, and why I don't think they're going to be putting in a lot of time to fix some of the more glaring issues in this game, being the AI, being the hand-holdy nature of that tutorial, the microtransactions, all of those things that we're going to have problems with, they're not going to be fixed. And the reason why is because of this. When you see that they say that it is expected to be in early access for one to three months, depending on how much work we need to put into adjusting the content after receiving user feedback, they're looking at a one to three month early access release platform, and then they're out the door into a 1.0 state, meaning they're not probably going to be putting in a lot of time to fix some of the more glaring issues. AI being the fucking worst. Like when you're talking about AI that's worse than scav AI from Tarkov, like, it's bad. Now, I know that they say, depending on how much, you know, based on user feedback and blah, 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 I've been down this road before with companies like this. They don't really give a shit about user feedback. The game has been on mobile for over a year at this point. They have that feedback. They know what's good. They know what's not. They're using early access to basically cover themselves by saying the game's not finished. So if you run into any issues, well, the game's not finished. It's an early fucking access. But for me, it's just not something that I could see myself putting a lot more time in outside of like I said, creating this video. Maybe it's a me thing, but let me know your guys' thoughts. And while you're down there, leave a like on the video if you enjoyed it, a dislike if you didn't. Subscribe for more indie FPS content, third-person shooter content, anything shooter-related. This is the channel to be at. My name is Big Fry. Stay safe. Have a great day. And I'll see you on the next one.